Hello there. Hi guys, welcome back. This is Alpha Omega and that's Alpha Omega there. That's my concrete video. By the way, a lot of you guys said when you watched that video that you were going to wonder or take bets on how long it would take for the concrete to crack because there's no foundation. Well, it hasn't cracked yet and that's about three weeks ago, but it's early days. Anyway, this video is about impatience and actually it relates a little bit to that video about the concrete because I can tell you Thai people are, I won't say amongst the most impatient people I've ever met. I think I have never experienced, this is the way I put it, I've never experienced impatience like the impatience I experience in Thailand on a daily basis. And again, I'm not, it's, you know, it, this isn't, like, I love living here. I really do. And I love the Thai people. I have wonderful wonderful experiences every single day but there's these underlying things because it's culturally uh, there's a cultural void between western culture and thai culture in certain aspects and i've got the fans off here and the mosquitoes are having a field day but i'll give you some examples of this lack of patience or impatience if you're in 7-Eleven and you're standing in the queue waiting to go to one of the three tills, let's say, and you're second in line in the middle till, at the middle till, and the till on the left becomes free, well, the person behind you in the third place in the middle, at the middle till, will jump to the vacant spot. But you see, in my, my way of thinking, I'm next. Because we're both in the same queue and he's behind me. But you see, in Thailand, it doesn't work like that. And another thing, when you're standing at the counter and you're receiving your change and you haven't yet picked up your, your purchases, the person behind you will start putting theirs down on the counter. And when I say counter, it's a very small space between uh, a counter space that you have in 7-Eleven. If you've ever been in Italian, you know what I'm talking about. But they do that. And it, that drives me crazy. You know, I, I never do react because it's their country and it's, it's their thing, you know. But I'd love to turn around and say, excuse me, are you sure it's convenient for you to do this now? Because it's damn not convenient for me. But how and ever. Another aspect of this is the driving. We all criticise the Thai driving. We all criticise the driving culture. We all, you know, you can't, it's very hard to get used to the way they do things here, especially on the road, you see. But impatience comes in the form of motorcyclists. When you're turning left, they will over, by the way, we drive on the left side of the road here. So when you're turning left, um, making a making a turn in, in, into a junction, let's say a left junction, a right a right angle turn. Um, you've got to keep an eye in your mirror for motorcyclists because they will undertake you. They come up come up on your inside and try to pa pass you by as you are executing your your turn, and that is just such a crazy crazy thing to do. It it's the personification of impatience and it's again it, it, it when i say this here you, you, you might think it, it's not just getting it, it's hard to get used to it's it's something i don't want to get used to because i don't want to um to be in that situation but that's the situation i find myself in on a daily basis on the roads in thailand they will undertake you if you're turning left and they'll overtake you if you're turning left or right or anyway they will cut in front of you and make that turn ahead of you and if you're on um a zebra crossing we call them zebra you probably in the states it's zebra but you probably call them a crosswalk the black and white thing um you can stand there all day and they won't stop. And even when you're on it, you have to indicate to them that you want them to stop. There's actually red flags uh, at these um, crossings 
um, that on either side people would walk across the road with the red flag. Imagine having to 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 display a red flag to ward off the 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 ever present danger um, of 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 motorists that just will not stop at a pedestrian crossing. And that's impatience, you see. That's Im- They're always in a hurry. They're always looking to go there quicker than, than you know. I, I, I do my videos for the big picture El Panorama in Wigwang Night Market. And it's, it's a very narrow, there are some very narrow passageways. And when I stop to let a blind person, there's a lot of blind guys singing karaoke and they'll, 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 they'll meander their way through the market, you see, and they're very slow. But I'll stand to one side and stop and let the blind guy pass by. But the people behind me will take that as an opportunity just to breeze past me and get in, you know, to, to man- manoeuvre past the, the blind person. But, but if that was to happen elsewhere, if that was, someone did that and I was behind them and they were letting the blind person pass by, I would acknowledge the fact that that's what they're doing, and out of respect, I would sit, sa- sit back or stand back and wait till wait till the coast is clear and let them go first. But you see, they are too impatient for that. I could go on and on and on and on and on, like roundabouts, for example. Roundabouts are are decorative. I mean, that's all they are. They're 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 ornamental. Because when you're on a roundabout here, you don't stop and yield to the traffic that's already on the roundabout. No, you breeze on through and see what happens. What, what, what happens, happens. And it's all down to impatience. So I think that I am a reasonably patient person. Of course, I, I, I can be impatient from time to time. Of course, I'm, I'm no, I, you know, I, I don't exclude myself from from this but at the end of the day it's very very striking that almost a whole nation and i say this display a level of impatience that i have never come across before but i'll say this on the positive side they are impatient to welcome you that's for sure and the impatient the impatientness goes it goes across the whole spectrum from negative to positive So they're impatient in good ways as well. And I hope you're impatient to press that subscribe button, the like button, the the notifications bell. Do all those wonderful things. And I'll bring you back another wonderful video very soon. Thanks for joining me and thank you for having the patience to listen to me. Hello there.